Hey everybody, it's Josh from TQ Studios. Today I'm just doing a little uh, video compliment to my Twin Thunderwolves blog post from yesterday. And uh, also a test for my new webcam, see how I like it. Um, we'll start with the base Canis model, so you can take a look at what he looks like. Um, he's pretty epic. Don't mind the paint, I'm still trying to figure out uh, what the final product wants to look like. Um, he's pretty cool. It's a large model. He's taller than a dreadnought, especially with the claw fist up and the wolf claw up in the air. <clears throat> and um, the main thing is it's a big model, and it's surprising how much of it is actually one piece of metal. If we look here, we can see the cast lines a little bit, the joint lines. His head cuts in here into the jaw. Um, this leg here goes up to the corner and around this armor plate and down. That's one piece. Uh, this rear leg goes right under the cloak, down to the ground. That's one piece. And then this front leg here, joint at the reins, is one piece while well, the paw is a separate piece. But otherwise, and the arms, it's all one model. So all of this here, including Canis's legs, chest, and head, are all one piece with the cloak and with the tail. I was hoping we'd be able to make a clean cut at the waist um, to make them wolf lords, but it doesn't really seem possible without destroying the cloak. Um, I'll show you the wolf lord now. This is my answer and uh, it was pretty easy, just a little tedious to get him how I wanted him. But you can see again the lines more clearly on the unprimed model, the cut along there. Took a little bit of trimming to get him to fit properly, but it was worth the time. Um, if you look here, I just obviously didn't put the other arm on, and it's pinned uh, from the arm into the main body, and then also the storm shield into the arm is pinned. Just a safety precaution. He's heavy, and I want to be able to pick him up without worrying. Um, over here, you can see the frost, the frost axe work. Uh, this uh, this bit here comes on this pro as a two-handed weapon, so I actually had to clean up right around here and take a hand off of the model. Um, not really a difficult task, but it needed to be done so we could heft it over the shoulder of the wolf. And then a cut at the hand and a pin joined it nice. Uh, and then the backpack is pinned into his back. And you can see the stress of the plastic there. I actually pinned the banner into the pack. His head's pinned in too, just for security. Again, he's a pretty big model. Um, without major work, it's nearly impossible to reposition the wolf, the Thunder Wolf. So if that's what you're hoping for, I hate to break the news to you. Um, but I, if you attempt to do that, I hope you're good with green stuff. And pin, pin, pin. As far as the tabletop goes, these two here will be attached to a unit of ten Fenris wolves. Well, actually, the unit of Fenris wolves will be screening them. But um, they should make a pretty imposing pair on the table. And hopefully they can keep uh, keep my enemies scared of the wolf pack. Uh, the death wolves.